Saturday night. Life can be weary all alone out on the prairie. Turn off One of my favorite things about Garrison Keillor, I love that he sings with such abandon. You can't shut him up. All you have to do is, could you sing this song for me? He said, oh, I thought you'd never ask. Life is a mess. Nothing went right. I'll be yours for two hours tonight. Can't I have problems singing sometimes, and when I see that, it inspires me. And I have to sing a lot in the show now, whether you like it or not. <laughs> And the Fitzgerald Theater is the name of the hall. I was born in Philadelphia. Did a lot of theater there for many years. I got this travel show for the Discovery Channel, produced out of Philly, and met my wife doing that, and uh, traveled all over the world. Hey, folks, here I am. From the land of turkeys, hogs, and spam. I grew up on radio. Good neighbor time on CCO. My wife got me to move to Minnesota. Our first date, she said, someday I want to move to Minnesota. And I said, anything you want, baby. <laughs> you know? Little did I know. Yeah. Radio Man is a story of a fictional host, <clears throat> Garrison Keillor, and his life on the stage. It's a celebration. It's a despairing and hopeful look at life in the past, in the present, and everywhere in between. Garrison is a very generous person. He listens to us, and he listens very intensely to his play while we're doing it. And he says, you know, I think I could help you out there with something, or, uh, there's something going that not happening yet that I'm not happy with, and 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 maybe if I if I, if I gave you this or but if we go, um, uh, Garrison, uh, what? You know, he'll he'll say yes. He'll listen to you and and answer you. He's not doesn't look down at us at all. Us lowly actors, <laughs> like everyone else does. The son went home, and Laura was waiting for him, whose uncle in New York had left them a great deal of money. The irregularity of the line is part of the joke, he said confidently. <laughs> Intentional, in other words. He's not concerned about the things that I, I was scared that he would be concerned about, like scrutinizing my performance or something. He's just listening to the words, what he wrote. When we did the public reading, he, I don't think he watched us a lot. I think he was, he was listening, because that's his medium, the radio. is delicious and it's very righteous too it's in the bible and it's undeniable that it's very good for you there's a child in the play who's me as a young child who who's refers to himself as gary keeler and i think he's taking a step back in this play to take a look at things what would you draw on from your own experience to play somebody in the early 1950s well you don't think childhood has changed much? I think it definitely has because, it definitely has. Well, because of electronics. And... The past that my character talks about in the show is not necessarily the authentic past of Garrison Keillor, but it is the essence of that past, or it has a piece of that past in it. And a guy telling stories about growing up in Minnesota with the kind of people that live here can't help but be entertaining, especially when you look at it the way he does. When you grow up evangelical, you don't want to look like you're having fun. <laughs> because that meant you weren't listening to the sermon. So I grew up with a solemn face. My people considered charm to be evidence of dishonesty. So I was a loner, didn't say much, didn't make eye contact. Nowadays, they'd say high-functioning end of the autism spectrum. But back then, I was just weird. People, especially diehard fans of uh, Prairie Home Companion, are going to be fascinated by some of the insight they get into a living legend. Insight into living history is what this play is.
He's a treasure. There aren't a lot of people like this in the world.